Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is April 6th, 2023. Lance Brack here to talk some pro wrestling this Thursday morning. And last night was AEW Dynamite. In case you missed it, new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic up recapping last night's episode of Dynamite from Long Island, New York, MJF Day, and Tony Khan's big important announcement was AEW's debut in London, England, and it will be all in at Wembley Stadium. Now, I know uh, last year sometime they already announced that AEW would be debuting in England. I didn't think it was going to be quite for this big of a show their first time going there. I thought that they might do what WWE does and tape an episode of Dynamite in the afternoon and well afternoon here I should say and then it would air late here in the United States later on in the regular Dynamite time slot but they're having a big pay per view event all in Wembley Stadium I was thinking I wasn't even sure if they would run a big arena or the O2 arena where WWE runs there but the site of SummerSlam 1992 is where all in 2023 will be held And if I have any listeners in England listening right now, let me know if you plan on going to All In there in London, either in the comments section here on Spreaker or wherever you are listening. Let me know if you're going to get tickets to this big show. And... Some more AEW news. Talked about this a little bit already, but Nigel McGuinness is all elite signing with AEW after he made his return to Ring of Honor last Friday night at Supercard of Honor, joining Ian Riccoboni and Caprice Coleman on commentary. So it looks like on Ring of Honor now they are going to have a three-man team of commentary which I think uh, it was off to um, a little rocky start. Not bad. But I think the three of them just had to get used to each other a little bit. And But by the time of the uh, the semi-main and main event they were working pretty well together and I think once they have time to work together and get used to each other they're going to be a good commentary team speaking of Ring of Honor tonight Ring of Honor on Honor Club which I believe was supposed to have been taped last night in Long Island after Dynamite. And also tonight, Impact Wrestling on Access TV, which the news has came out yesterday now that I talked about this, that I wanted to see it happen, 
and it is going to happen. Rebellion one week from this Sunday, April 16th on pay-per-view. Team Tommy Dreamer with Team Bully Ray. Detroit Red Wings legend Darren McCarty will be joining Tommy Dreamer's team in the Hardcore War, which is no surprise after what happened at Sacrifice in Windsor, where they had Darren McCarty sitting in the front row. Bully Ray goes over, throws the beer in his face, and at the end of the night, power bombed him through a table. I talked about this. Darren McCarty is has been wrestling a little bit on the in- independence here in Michigan for the last couple years or so. So it's not like he's never worked a match before, never been in a ring. And it's going to be, if you have ever watched Darren McCarty play hockey, he was more of one of the rough and tough guys one of the fighters anyway so this more of a brawl street fight kind of match is probably going to be right up his alley really so that is Impact Wrestling tonight on Access TV which will be followed by New Japan Pro Wrestling WWE sale coming out with in Denver and this merger with WWE and UFC which I still don't believe they actually announced a name for the company or anything yet and will be interesting to see what happens with the TV deals that are up towards the end of the year with NBC, Universal, and Fox. Oh, I'm definitely no expert when it comes to it, but NBC, Universal, I think that's a pretty safe bet that that one's going to be renewed. I'm sure Raw will be staying on USA. Don't see any changes happening there. But with Fox, I'm not sure. I'm not saying I automatically think that Fox is going to want out of the deal. And, but I wouldn't say that's as safe as a bet as... It is with NBC Universal. And AEW. Uh, They got some negotiations later this year too, I believe, with Warner Brothers Discovery. Which I'm not too worried about. Since now they've, um, of course, had Dynamite Rampage and just added all access. And there has been some talk about a new Saturday night show of some kind coming soon. And that's all for this episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you everyone to listening, to be here listening on this Thursday morning on Spreaker or wherever you are listening remember if you are in England in the London area or if you're going to make a trip let me know if you want to go to All In there at Wembley Stadium here in the comment section 
either on Spreaker or Red Review or listening. And hope everyone has a great Thursday today. We'll be back tomorrow for the Friday episode of GMWF. Also hope to have more episodes of 360 Wrestling Fanatic coming at you. Tonight, Ring of Honor on Honor Club, Impact Wrestling, New Japan Pro Wrestling on Access TV. Hope everyone enjoys those shows. If you watch all three, or just watch two, or just one. Until next time, keep watching pro wrestling.